So once the scripting data has been loaded, we can now move forward with loading our assets, images, maps, etc. Now typically you can load assets and scripts at the same time, but I've been burned by that in HTML once or twice. Injected JavaScript code can easily suggest more assets to be loaded, which would require more kickoffs of async calls and tracks to follow. As such, for sanity, well, mainly my receding hairline, we let Grit's scripting code come in first, define their systems and asset needs, and then kick off all the subsequent asset loads afterwards. In Grits, instead of calling window alert, this is where we actually kick off phase three, where we parse our texture packer atlas definition and load the map objects. Once that was done, we can actually let the user play the game by turning off the UI and showing the canvas elements. Once we've gone through our three phases of loading the menu, the scripting data, and then the assets, Finally, we can allow the user to get to the screen and play the game. It's only through the combination of all of these together do we ensure a nice, easy transition for the user that constantly shows them a refreshing UI.